Road 595 uh, alternative analysis and project assessment. Uh, this is the background uh, until of how we got here today. On October 18, 2010, the board passed uh, this resolution. Whereas it is the responsibility of the Marquette County Road Com Commission to provide a safe and efficient county road system. Whereas a public need for a new road has been identified and established by the Marquette County Road Commission, the County Board of Marquette and all four affected townships, Champlin, Ely, Humboldt, Michigami. Whereas a public need for a new road has been identified by other local government agencies such as the City of Marquette, Powell Township, and Marquette Township that are indirectly affected. Whereas developing a new all-season primary county road to run north-south beginning at the intersection of US 41, County Road FY northerly to County Road IAA is in the best public interest. Whereas the need for a new county road lies within a corridor within two miles on either side of the following area. Humboldt Township, T-47 North, R-29 West, Section 2. Champion Township, <coughs> T-48 North, R-29 West, Sections 35, 26, 23, 14, 11, and 2. T-49, R-29 West, Sections 35, 26, 23, 14, 11, and 2. And Michigami Township, T-50 North, R-29 West, Sections 35, 26, 23, 14, and 11. Whereas the purpose of the new all-season county primary road is to provide enhanced year-round vehicle access to adjoining lands in the northern, north-central portion of Marquette County. Whereas this new road will provide additional recreational opportunities to the public, as well as provide a direct benefit to the timber, mining, and gravel industries. Whereas highway public safety, emergency response, and emergency services will be significantly enhanced. Whereas a new road in this area will affect traffic volumes and pat patterns, especially heavy truck traffic along US 41, M28, County Road 510, County Road 550, and the roads and streets in the city of Marquette, County Road 492, Wright Street, County Road 502, and County Road 573. Whereas a new road will affect noise quality, air quality, and water quality along the proposed route and also on existing routes. Whereas a new road in this corridor will impact the environmental in the environment, including but not limited to streams, wetlands, and wildlife, whereas a new road might impact historical sites, whereas a new road will take considerable resources to design, construct, and maintain, whereas private firms and other governmental agencies might be able to mitigate the cost of developing a new road. Now, therefore, let it be resolved that the Marquette County Road Commission recognizes that it is in the best public interest to create a new all-season primary county road to run north-south beginning at the intersection of US 41 County Road FY, northerly to County Road IAA, and the name of the route shall be known as County Road 595. Also <coughs> let it be resolved that the Marquette County Road Commission develop an environmental assessment and work closely with the Michigan Department of Natural Resources, MDNR, and the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, to mini minimize and mitigate the impacts that the new road will cause. Therefore, let it further be resolved that the, mar that the staff develop public and private agreements along with public agency to public agency agreements to minimize design, construction, and maintenance costs to the Road Commission for County Road 595 and that those agreements be brought back before the board for approval. That's where we started this whole project off. That is why we are sitting here tonight because of that uh, motion and that resolution that the board made in October of last year. Uh, the project uh, update as we sit here today is as follows. MDOT has approved a road uh, that starts at County Road FY and heads northerly to County Road IAA as a county primary road. That is different than a county local road in designation, and MDOT has recognized the importance through that designation. The Federal Highway Administration, in cooperation with MDOT, approved County Road 595 as a road eligible for inclusion in the Federal A to Highway system. In other words, the Federal Highway Administration looked at where the road was going and what it would be servicing along with MDOT and said that a road in that location makes sense and that uh, it is of some significant importance to put it on the Federal Highway system. The board approved a contract with Kennecott Eagle Mineral Company in February of 2011 for using the information Kennecott has and for Kennecott's assistance to the Road Commission through the permitting process at Kennecott's expense. In May, the board hired an environmental consultant, J.F. New, to help staff review permit and design documents from the environmental perspective. 
On August 10, 2011, a press release was issued informing the public of all our alternative analysis and project assessment document, public information meetings, and this meeting. As of August 15, the proposed County Road 595 included the following. It's approximately 22.7 miles in length. It's located in the commercial forest area that is a working woods that has been harvested many times over the years. 22.5 miles or 99% of County Road 595 is within 500 feet of an existing road or trail. Wetland impacts are 23.35 acres and we will be mitigating an addition. We will be mitigating for that 23.35 acres of impact with 43.9 acres of new wetlands. County Road 595 will cross 23 streams or rivers. Only six of those crossings will be new. The other 17 already have a crossing that will be improved upon. To mitigate the environmental impacts, we are proposing a realignment of the AAA road at the east branch of the Salmon Trout Creek. The proposed project would remove the three existing crossings, realign the road so that the stream is not directly adjacent to the road, and a new bridge will be built so that there will be only one crossing of the Salmon Trout Creek instead of three. The design calls for a smaller design footprint, 32 feet wide, rather than our normal 40 feet wide to lessen the environmental impacts. From a transportation standpoint, we studied nine routes outside our desired four mile corridor. We studied 21 different route segments within the four mile corridor. Socially, it will improve health, safety, and welfare of the community. It improves emergency access to Big Bay, which was an issue in the 2003 Silver Lake Dam failure. It moves truck traffic out of population centers. It provides an additional north-south alternative route. It improves the economics for both the logging and mining industry, and it improves recreational access to the public. The route is approximately 75% similar to the Woodland Road route, with 25% of it being new. All, lo all local governments support County Road 595. 